What's up everybody? Well, I got another Azus G15 Advantage gameplay video. Well, not gameplay video for you guys, but a video for you guys. I'm just so used to saying that. Anyway, today I decided to fulfill the request of running 3D Mark. And I didn't really know what they meant, so I decided I'm just gonna run every single test I have that I can run, besides like the DLSS test that I physically just can't run. And there's like one other thing that's like some test nonsense. We're not gonna run that either. It's like a test of a test. It's weird, it's all grayed out. You'll probably see it once I get closer to the bottom. But I figured we'll just take the laptop over to the capture computer that way I don't have to sit here and keep remembering to shut OBS off so it's not interfering just by being up in the background even if it's not recording it takes like three to four percent of your CPU which is almost meaningless and you know day-to-day -day purposes but if you're actually going for benchmarks and all that it makes a difference and I'm also gonna turn off afterburner because we don't really need that right now we're just going for benchmarks we're not going to do anything else the only thing I will leave on is well no because that'll interfere the tests too so anyway we're just going to start off with the first test on the list here and that is the new Speedway I haven't even seen this, didn't even notice it was there. So shows how often I run 3D Mark now. <laughs> so we'll start off with that and we're just gonna work our way down. We'll go Speedway, Port Royal, Time Spy Extreme, so on and so forth, all the way down to the bottom. We'll even do the feature tests and SSD tests and all that nonsense. So without wasting any more time, let's go get that laptop hooked up to the capture computer so we will have OBS and screen capture without any interference with the benchmarks. And obviously we're not gonna, you know, watch every benchmark all the way through. The, damn, this video would probably be an hour and a half long if we did that but we'll still be able to just pop in at the end when we get the freaking results so let's go hook that thing up to the capture computer and run speedway so starting off with speedway which i've never ran before apparently we got an excellent we got 2171 which is actually higher than the average i didn't quite beat the best but that's okay i'm happy to just finally be average at something on this damn thing <laughs> but not really too much to look for that i mean you can do estimated game performance right there but we're not going to bother with that. I say now it's time to move on to the next 3D Mark test. Well, we just ran Port Royale and we got 51, or what, 50, 5,706. And our score did actually beat out the average again. So hell yeah, didn't beat the best, but that's okay. I'm never expecting really beat the best. The best are the best because they spend a lot of time tinkering. So it damn well better pay off. Anyway, there's a nice monitoring line. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is on this one. It's just one score, so... Now, let's move on to the next test. Moving on to Time Spy Extreme with 5,004, 5,122 for graphics and 4,429 for CPU. But this time, unfortunately, we could not beat the average. Average beats us here. But that's happened for quite some time now. But, in any case, that's all we got. So, let's go move on to the next test, shall we? Here we go with just regular old Time Spy. We got 10,722 which we did not beat the average. We got smoked, not by a super large amount, but we still got beat, and we got absolutely decimated by best. So our score was graphics 10, 935, and our CPU was 9,658, and that's all there really is to say. So let's go ahead and hop on to the next test. Fire Strike Ultra is all done, so we got 7,795. Our score did not beat the average of 8,088. We got 7,814 for graphics, 23,980 for physics, and a combined of 3,840. So, you know what that means. Time for the next test. Now, for Time Spy Extreme, we got 14,915, which, again, was not quite able to beat the average, but we were not far off this time. That's almost within the realm of error. Still got smoked by the best, though. Anyway, we got 15,964 for graphics, 24,046 for physics, and 7,234 for the combined. So, with that said... On to the next test, of course. Here's normal, just fire strike. We got 26,834. We did not beat the average again. Nor the best, obviously. If you can't beat the average, how are you going to beat the best? So, we got a graphics score of 32,451, 23,995 for physics, and 12,654 for combined. So, now that we got that test done, it is time for the next one. All right, well, now here's a couple silly tests. But we did wildlife extreme... And we beat the average because this is more for more low-end things. But I just wanted to be thorough and do all of them. I said, fuck it, just for fun. So that's all there is here. There's just the one score. So on to the next one. Now for the regular old wildlife, we got 70,484. So yeah, again, we smoked the average because the average thing here is, you know, supposed to be low-end stuff. But we still did not beat the best, surprisingly enough. So somebody beat us by 4,000 points. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go to the next one. All right, now for a night raid, we got 55,969, 119,000 for the graphics, and 13K 
basically 14k for the CPU. And yeah, we didn't even have any data available because this is, again, a very low-end test. So they were like, nope, you're just way too fast. We're not even comparing you to nothing. So anyway, on to the next test now. Here is the CPU profile test. So there's our max threads right there at 6817. We got 6778 for the 16 thread, which is how many threads this thing has in total with the hyper-threading. Eight threads got 5962. Four is threads is 3425. Two is... 1749 and one is under a thousand at 886. So now we got this benchmark out of the way. It's time to move on to the next one, of course, of course. Well, now we did the storage benchmark. So we got 1946, still lost out to the average and got smoked by the past, but I'm sure there's people with some crazy raid setups that just smoke my single uh, Gen 3 M.2. And there's all the different bandwidth tests it did for all the different loads and stuff for people that are curious. At the megabytes per second. Oh man, the move game was so close. We almost got leet. You were so close. Why couldn't one of those other 0.77s been where the four is? You suck. Anyway, now on to the next test. Okay, this is just a direct X ray tracing feature test. And apparently we got 17.74 FPS in this particular test. So it's really probably just supposed to see how many FPS you can get in a ray tracing test. So we got 17. Not exactly playable, but... Everyone knows from many, for about a year of watching my videos, that this thing is not exactly the best when it comes to ray tracing. But anyway, to the next test. Here is a mesh shader feature test. So with the mesh shaders off, we got 32.33 FPS with it. Oh, we got 306.83. So that's like, wow, 849% difference? Holy shit. Well, we need to use more mesh shaders, damn it. Unless it makes the game look like crap. Anyway, moving on. So here's the PCI Express feature test. So we got seven gigabytes per second of bandwidth there. Now this is a PCI 4.0 GPU. And then the GPU 2 runs off of three at 3.0, but that thing's really slow anyway, and it couldn't max out three if it tried, and we never use it anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. So now, on to the last test. All right, now for the VRS feature test, I had to do tier two. Tier one just would not work. It worked with VRS off and then crashed instantly. So we got 64.84 with it off and 117.7 with it on. So that's pretty cool, 80% performance gain. Again, another one they might want to start using in more games. Again, unless this makes games look like shit. I'm not exactly a professional when it comes to what all these different features do. But anyway, let's wrap this up, shall we? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap. We have done every single 3D mark in the test from the start to finish, except for ones that wouldn't run like the DLSS. And for some reason, the, uh, what was it called here? Go over the benchmark. You have to excuse Afterburner going crazy. This one. For some reason, the first one would not run. Tier one, no. No idea why. Tier two worked fine. Tier one, no go. Got worried that that test wasn't even gonna work, but it did, so we are good to go. So hopefully this uh, test is exactly what the person wanted. They said they wanted to see 3D mark, so we'll, we did all of 3D mark. So pretty awesome. Now, I think it'd be kind of fun to see how the other computers stack up, so I'll probably go do them. I already looked on the Steam Deck, and unfortunately, 3D Mark is not something that works on it, at least not natively, and I had enough of a time trying to get VNet or Battle Lot Net Launcher to run on that for one day, so in any case, we'll run this same test on the desktops just for fun. Not in the same video. We'll do that in another video. This one's plenty long enough as it is. Well, eh, no, it probably is. We'll go do those in a separate video just for fun, so we can now wrap this video on up, so nothing else to say, so hopefully this is what the person wanted. I don't know what else it could be if I've done every test possible so then it's good time for us to end so I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys